So this is the start of topic four um, for maths in year nine. And this is on decimals and percentages. And I'll just apologize for my husky voice. I've been a bit sick, but hopefully you can deal with it. Um, in our first unit, we're going to be dealing with just basically fractions, decimals, and rounding, and importantly being able to swap back and forth between fractions and decimals. And you are allowed to use your calculator in this topic, but I'd encourage you guys to do as much of it in your head as you can. So first thing I want you to remind, remind you of is your place values, and then simplifying fractions. This is something you might remember, or should remember, from our previous topics, so kind of already covered that. Um, but place values, let's just take a look. If I give you a big long number, remember these are the hundreds, then I've got the tens, the ones, and then it goes in reverse in a sense, starting with the tenths, then it's the hundredths, then it's the thousandths, etc. And remind yourself that, you know, one tenth is actually one over ten, and one hundredth is one out of a hundred, and one thousandth is one out of one thousand. So that's just important things to remember. And we need that because to be able to write these um, decimals as fractions, the first thing that we're going to do is try to write it, um, first thing we need to do is be aware of what place values we're dealing with. So step number one would be to write the decimal as a fraction. And how we do that is look at how many place values are in the decimal. So here I'm going to just the tenths, the first place value. So I know it's going to be written over ten. So that's our second step here, write the numbers over the appropriate, ten, hundred, or thousands, etc. So this is tenths, and I know it's three tenths, so I'd write it as three over ten. And then the next step would be to simplify the fraction. But three and ten, that's as simple as it goes. They don't have any common multiples, so I can't reduce it any further. So I'll just leave it as three over ten. In the next example, zero point two four, that's zero point that's two tenths and four hundredths, so here I'm going up to the hundredths place, two decimal places, so I need to have 24 over 100. Another way to look at that is that's two decimal spots, so I should have two zeros on my number underneath. And if I'm going to simplify this, which I can, first thing I might do is try dividing 24 by maybe 4. 24 has 4 times 6 in it, and 100 has 4 times 25. So those 4's will cancel and you're left with 6 over 25. And that's probably about as far as you can take that one. So again, looking that I see two place values, so that goes to 100's, I need to write my fraction over 100 and then simplify. My next example, 1, 2, 3 place values, so I need three zeros on the bottom, and I also know that that's 10th, 100th, 1000th places. So that's 4, 4, 8, 4. And I need to reduce this fraction again. So it's a big number. I might think about just cutting it in half to begin with. 2, 2, 4 over 500. And I can still cut both of those in half. So carrying on, that would be 1, 1, 2 over 250. And I can still cut that in half. 112, that would be 56 over... 125. I know I kind of need to think a bit more clearly whether or not there's anything else that 56 and 125 have in common, like a 2 or a 3 or a 5. And they don't, so that's as far as I'll go, is 56 over 125. Next step for me, here I see two decimal spots, that's hundred tenths and hundredths, so I know I have 79 over 100 here and thinking about whether or not I can simplify that, and I can't. So again, that one just stays as 79 over 100. So to remind you again, look to see how many place values you have, whether it's a tenth, a hundredth, or a thousandth. You need to write the number that is the decimal over the hundred, or over the ten, or over the thousand, and then think about simplifying the fraction if you can. If not, just leave the answer as it is, and then you're done. So get on, get your book out, and do some practice.